Hello, I'm Waffles Are Better. In this video, I will be going more in depth into the pack.mc meta file. I have already covered this file in a previous video, but I'll be going into it with more examples and better explaining what everything does. I am planning on also doing this with a bunch of different things that are in different files and data packs that I have maybe covered in previous videos, but that I was not able to go into as much detail in to keep the video a shorter length. And I will provide a bunch of examples, such as screenshots of the world generation terrain when different parameters are changed. So you'll either be able to watch the main video and learn the basics of the file and what different things do, or you can watch the specific in-depth videos that will go farther in depth on specific features, um, but will take much longer to watch overall because of the added examples and other content. So I have here everything that goes into the pack.mc meta file. You've got um, these outer parentheses, and then you have pack in quotation marks, uh, then inner parentheses after pack, and then the only two parameters are pack format and description. And so pack.mc meta is actually going to be the most important file in your data pack or resource pack, because without pack.mc meta, the game will not recognize your folder as a data pack or resource pack. And don't worry, it is exactly the same between data packs and resource packs. You will have to have exactly the same thing inside of pack.mc meta. So the first parameter, which is pack underscore format, is just to tell the game which game version your data pack or resource pack was created to be compatible with. So pack format will not actually change whether the data pack or resource pack itself actually works, but it is just to inform whoever is using the pack whether the pack is outdated or meant for an older version. So you can just ignore that warning and then it'll work just fine anyways as long as the stuff that's actually inside of the data pack is compatible with the version that they're trying to use it on. So overall, the pack format is just to tell the user of the pack what version the creator of the pack intended it to be used on. So the current available numbers for pack format go up to eight, but that might change in the future. So if you are playing on a version after 1.18, you might need to check the Minecraft wiki for what the different pack format numbers are, and you can find a link to that in the description. So the first one would be one, of course, and that is going to be for versions 1.6.1 to 1.8.9. And the next is going to be two, and this is for versions 1.9 to 1.10.2. The next format is three, and this is going to be for versions 1.11 to 1.12.2. The next is version four. This is for versions 1.13 to 1.14.4. And then number five, this is for versions 1.15 to 1.16.1. Number six is for versions 1.16.2 to 1.16.5. Number seven is for all existing 1.17 versions at this time. And 1.8 is used by the upcoming 1.18 snapshots. And so will probably be used by all of 1.18, but that might be changed. Then the description for the data pack or resource pack is pretty self-explanatory. This is just what will show up in the description field of your pack when you are trying to load it into your game. So I have loaded up Minecraft. I'm going to make sure that I save this file. And as you can see, the pack format is 7 and the description is an example. So since I am running version 1.17.1, as you can see, um, the pack format of 7 is going to be the right version 1.17 so there will be no message or uh, compatibility error and the description of the pack will be an example so let me just get that data pack I'm going to copy it go back to my game uh, go to data packs again I'm using a data pack to showcase this but it works exactly the same for resource packs I'm going to open the pack folder just paste in the pack the description is an example and there is no compatibility error so then if I go ahead and go back to this file and change the pack format to 6, which is for 1.16 versions, so that won't be compatible because I'm in Minecraft 1.17. Uh, then copy this again, open the pack folder, and then paste it in. Uh, as you can see, it is now incompatible and made for an older version of Minecraft. Even though I didn't actually change anything in the pack, this is just due to the pack format number. And then once again, if I go back and change the pack format to 8, then I copy the pack again, 
go back to the game, open the folder, and then paste it in again. You should see that it's made for a newer version of Minecraft, um, because the pack format number is set to a number higher than the format for 1.17. So just switching it back to 7, and then copying the pack again, and putting it back in my world. You should see that it goes back to normal. That's it for this video. If you have any questions about anything that I covered in this video, you can ask me about them in the comments or join my Discord server and ask me there. And if you have any suggestions for anything that you want me to cover more in depth in the future, then you can let me know in either of those places. I'd like to thank everyone for 500 subscribers. I reached that since the last video and I, I just really appreciate it. I really never thought I would get this far. And I want all of you to know that I would thank every one of you individually. It really means a lot to me, and I never thought I'd get this far, and I can't even really comprehend that 500 people want to watch my videos and stuff. It just means a lot to me. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks for watching.